In this video, I'm going to show you how to reconcile a refund in Xero. So the first step is to log into your Xero account and then head to the dashboard. Once you're there, you should already see a business bank account mini report right here. And there should be a reconcile uh, blank items. This The amount of items here depends on how many you need to reconcile under that account. But basically, this will already allow you to see a list of all of them. Alternatively, you can also check the accounting tab and then select bank accounts right here. This will lead you to all the bank accounts or accounts that are available in your company. And right now, we're just going to go ahead and click on this uh, reconcile 33 items here to see a list of all the transactions that we need to reconcile. Now from here, what we need to do is to look for the refund transaction that we wish to reconcile. So we're just gonna scroll down and uh, let's say this transaction right here involving Hamilton Smith is a refund to us. So this is a uh, 541.25 uh, payment received instead of spent. So what we're going to do is we're just going to track the find and match that's right next to the refund transaction. We're going to give that a click and it should open up uh, this list. And what we're going to do from here is we're just going to find the transaction that matches the refund. So we're going to be looking for this name right here and this amount. So if we check the list, we should be able to see it right here, Hamilton Smith Limited. And we can also see that the amount received is matching with the one we have on this list. So once we find it, we're just going to tick the box right beside it, just like that. And then on number two and number three, we can check the details that are matching. And then it says the sum of your selected transactions must match the money received. Make adjustments as needed. Since the totals match, we can already go ahead and click reconcile. Now, as you can see, it has disappeared from our list. This is because that refund transaction has been reconciled. So it's no longer an issue for our account. And that's about it. That's how you reconcile a refund in Xero. If you have any questions, please let me know down in the comments below, and I'll do my best to help you out.